Hey guys and welcome to another special kind of video what I'm gonna do in this video or videos I think I will do more of them <clears throat> we'll see um, I will make a review of the last season of certain players and predict their ratings in FIFA 17 I decided for the first yeah, episode of this series I will just do what I really know and do my kind of players, Schalke players, because I, as you guys know, I watch all Schalke games and a few friendlies, not all of them, but at least especially the important games, so all Bundesliga games, all cup games, EuroLeague, Champions League games, all of that I'm watching. So I will always put, uh, talk about 5-6 players. Today I will talk about a few others just in one sentence basically, but especially about six players today. And uh, yeah, of course, if you like this, then tell me that, smash the like button and you can tell me what you want me to see next. You can uh, yeah, tell me teams you want me to bed, uh, predict the ratings of their players or nations, for example, all German players or whatever you want to. I can also just do in one episode five goalkeepers, then five right backs and left backs and five center backs, whatever, or what you want me to do. So today I will start with our goalkeeper Ralf Fehrmann. He started off with this card, 82 rated, good stats. Um, he started off to be fair with an 81 rated card, gone up to an 82. He got two informs, 83 and 84 rated and a team of the season, 90 rated goalkeeping card. He had an amazing season again and in my opinion, of course Neuer is on a different level. But I, for example, don't see a difference between him and players like De Rea, Kutschwa or whatever. He is amazing. Many people in Germany, even including like Schalke player, uh, Dortmund fans, say that he is at least the second best goalkeeper in Germany at the moment. Many actually say he is the best one, better than Neuer at the moment. For me, Neuer, because of his experience, because of his leadership, even though Thelman can do that as well, but especially because of ex uh, his experience and because of his technique, he's better than Thelman. But Thelman deserves a huge upgrade and I decided to give him that card, 85 rated. I think he will get a big update. Um, I don't think he will get like an 87, 88 or even more. Because he's not, maybe not on that level yet, and 85 is already a big update. But I think he will get an 85 for 80 weight, 86 weighted card. I think EA will give him a plus 3 upgrade to an 85. As you can see, his diving gone up plus 3, his handling gone up plus 2, kicking up plus 2, reflexes up plus 4. I mean, his reflexes are so fucking amazing. Positioning up plus 2, uh, 3, and his speed is not really important. I just improved it by 1. So for me, he deserves a big update. Of course, because I talk about Schalke and Schalke, basically they are just young players who will improve. Of course, most of them will be improvements. And uh, the next one as well, it is Junior Kaisara. Junior Kaisara had a really good season in my opinion. He played really good football. And uh, for at least like five, six ma weeks, maybe even two months, um, he was the most creative player we had in our squad. He played really amazing and basically for me he really deserves an upgrade. He was one of the best players especially in the bad time and I know he does not deserve a huge upgrade. He's not like he does not deserve like an 80 rating. He did not get amazing amount of assists just free and his crossing is actually really really good though. Um, I would say if you have an amazing strike up front I will come to that later to that point. He, he would have got get like maybe he would get like six, seven, eight assists. Definitely for a right back, a good, definitely really good. Big problem for him is his um, defense. He won less than fifty percent of his tackles, which is for a uh, for a defender really bad. He won forty eight percent of his tackles, which you would say for a striker or, or a attacking midfielder is really good. Even our attack midfielders most of them have like 50 to 51 percent. For a defender, 58, uh, 48 is really bad. So I decided to improve him to a 77. As you can see here, his pace I'd improved that plus one because 83 is already really good. His, his acceleration is amazing. He is not the fastest, but his acceleration is like from zero to 100 is so amazing that he really often beats 
players and uh, defenders or whatever who are quicker than him because his acceleration is so good you would not expect it. His shooting is actually really good. I really like his shooting. That's why I improved it plus three. He made some good shots. Passing from 70 to 78 plus eight. Why that? Because he deserves it. His crosses are really amazing. Also his normal, normal passes. His passing, his crossing is amazing. He's not good, really that good in defending, but his crosses are amazing. His dribbling, I improved that from 77 to 78. Don't, uh, you don't really have to improve that. And his physics from 61 to 65. Why? Because he has an amazing stamina. I know, I think in physics there are stamina, heading, jumping, uh, stem, I already said that strength probably. He has a good strength, but especially his stamina should be like at least high educated. He is amazing in that. One thing you could maybe disagree is his defending. I told you this defending is not good. That's why he only had a 73. I just improved it to 75. Don't want to improve it anymore, but I would also get why if it would just stay at 73 or 74. I think it should get to 74, 75. I got it to a 75, but I would agree or not disagree if you say no. Let it be at 73. So that's it about Kaisara. Next up we have of course, for example, Ushida, who has played I think the last time in March 2015, so almost one and a half months ago. So I don't really want to talk uh, one and a half years ago, so I cannot really talk about him. He has not played one game in the last season. Herbert is, I think you can give him the same rated card, maybe improve him to like, a, I think he's 73 or 70, uh, 83 or 84, can improve it to like an 85, he's for me one of the best defenders in the world, at least top 10, he could fight for like top 5 maybe, I think definitely Boateng is better than him, Ramos is better than him, and I would say Piquet is better than him, but after that he can definitely fight against everybody, for me for example he is better than Hummels, I know that Hummels is better on passing, and better on traveling, and better on shooting, but the defender has the main task to defend, and whoever is defending is definitely better than Hummels defending, but okay. Um, Naldo just gave him the same weighted card, he has not played good or bad enough to get a, inc a downgrade or upgrade, and uh, he's quite old, so yeah, the same. Nastasic has not played, really, so yeah, um, I think he injured him in the first game of the season for a long time. Left backs, Gulasinac has not played good enough to get a big upgrade and he has not played enough. Aogo, I would downgrade him, maybe even to like a 75 or maybe even below 75, like 74, he played really shit. Guys, 80 way, I think, don't need an upgrade or downgrade, has not played good or bad enough. Next player I want to talk about is Leon Koretska. He started off with this card, 76 weighted, sent them it, some good stats, his shooting is below 70, his physics and defending is just above 70, the other stats are kind, kind of good. He definitely deserves an update, a big one. He is not an 80 weighted player yet, I definitely have to say, he does not deserve an 80 rating yet, but he needs at least a 78, but I, yeah, or a 79 rating. I gave him the 78 rating. And as you can see, I improved his, uh, uh, um, downgraded his pace from 81 to 80 because he is not that quick. He is kinda quick, but not 81, 82, anything. I, I don't think so. He is quick, but his acceleration, wind speed, they're not that amazing. 80, enough. His shooting has to go up a little bit. I improved it to 70 because he has some good long shots, a really good uh, shot power. His finishing is, of course, not amazing, but that's not his main thing. His passing. Don't, it's not the most amazing one, that's why I just improved it by 1 to 77. His tripling has to improve from 77 to 80 because he does deserve it. His tripling is really good, it's not amazing like the tripling of Hazard or Sané, who I will talk about later or whatever, but it is really good. I improved his def uh, did not improve his defending because his defending is not that amazing, so 72 is okay. But I have definitely improved his physics but because I told you I think stamina, jumping, heading and strength. He has a really good strength, is getting more and more powerful, really good strength, amazing uh, uh, power, um, uh, stamina, sorry. Uh, physics would actually include shot power as well, I really don't know what what oh, everything is there. But also, a wide jumping and definitely a wide heading, so I think he deserves an upgrade there. To a 78 and his physics to 74. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I will talk about Maximilian Meyer. 
So what exactly do I have to talk about um, there? Um, he was 78 weighted, non wear 75 pace, good dribbling, that's the main thing. All right passing, shooting's not really good, physics not good. He's not the most, uh, uh, the quickest guy ever. Um, so actually, we could improve his defending because he has almost the same weight, tackling weight basically, than, uh, um, what's his name now? Um, my fucker, uh, Kaisara. He has amazing amount of passes, over 1,000 1, passes, 85.2% of them were good passes, that is really good, 81.7 passes in the opposite uh, opposite half, so of the half of the opponent, were good passes, so not he, it's not like he made 1,000 passes and 300 of them were just at the back, no, um, he also got 6 assists. So I would say his shooting especially improved a lot, his passing improved, so I decided um, he does not really deserve a big upgrade, not an 80 rating yet, but I improved him to 79, I improved his pace because especially his acceleration is good and he's getting faster and faster, his shooting needs a big upgrade from 62 to 68, because he makes good long shots, but his finishing is actually really not bad, he deserves an upgrade there, in my opinion. Next up is passing from 76 to 77. Why not? He is, has good passing, not like amazing one, but good one. His dribbling has to go up. He played as a left mid for a long time and he really shot his dribbling there. As a center mid, of course, you especially have to show things like uh, stamina, like uh, vision, passing. But as a left mid, he definitely had to show his pace and dribbling. He definitely improved both of them a lot, so I think he should get to an 86 dribbling. His defending, I let it at 8, uh, 35. you can improve it if you want to, but of course he's not really a great defender. His physics also let it at, uh, 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 left it, what the fuck let it, left it at 52, because yeah, his stamina is good, but of course he has not really good strength, jumping, heading, whatever. The second last player I want to talk about is the big shooting star, Leroy Sané. He started off with this card, 75 weighted, where gold, a left mid card. 90 pace, good f shooting, tripling, it's fine, but you guys know what he did last season. He is just fucking amazing. He got 6 assists, which is not bad, 8 goals. In that team, to be fair, that team it was not amazing. Um, for me, he deserves to get definitely a better card. And I want to thought about, does he deserve an 80 rating? And I just thought about it for a few seconds and said, Yes, he has to get the L2 rating. First of all, of course, he is a right mid. His pace has to improve from 90 to 92. Why that? Have you seen him run? His acceleration spin speed, he's almost on a level with Aubameyang. I would not be surprised if he would get 94. He definitely needs at least 92. I think he will get 92 and 93 pace, but his pace is unbeatable. You have to, ha you basically the only there are just one two guys who may have a chance against him, who are basically Douglas Costa, Heller from um, Darmstadt and Aubameyang. Other than this, I would say there's nobody who has a chance in the sprint speed against him. His finishing has to improve a lot, from 73 to 77. Eight goals, not bad for a winger, really not bad. And his finishing is amazing. He has to improve his right foot, definitely, yes. He is like Arjen Robben, amazing finishing with his left foot, he has to improve his right foot, but he scored amazing goals from outside the box, he has a really good finishing 1v1, and his, like, his way, how he runs to the ball, and he's like, I will shoot, I will score now, face. I think that scares a lot of goalkeepers, he has to get an in there. His passing improved it to a 70, because his passes are not bad, I mean, 6 assists is also not bad, his tripling, 79, no, 87, his tripling is... Amazing. I decided it at least has to get an 85, at least an 85, but for me I would give it an 86, 87 or 88. I decided 88 or above is too high for him yet, because that is the level of like players like Ayan Robben, Ribéry, uh, Ian Hazard, who are just better than him yet, I still. They are better than him, 
But 86 or 87, I decided for an 87, his tripling and his pace and his shooting is the main thing. His passing is not amazing, his, his defending improved at 240 because he is always running back. Of course he is not an uh, amazing defender, but he is always running back. He makes a few deceptions, so I think he should improve there. And his physics as well has to go up because he was young, but he is getting older, stronger. He has some oh, right strength actually, he is not falling, falling down all the time like Neymar did when he was a bit younger. Like he was also really fast and uh, amazing twirling and shooting, but every time somebody just hit him a little bit, he was falling down because he basically had no strength at all. He has Zane is not doing that. He has a good strength. He can actually even win uh, balls like this with his strength, and his stamina is also of course getting better and better. So I think it should get improvement. 80 weighted card. So now you may ask, what the fuck is this? Every player gets an upgrade. Not everyone. The next player will not get an upgrade. Um, I just, for example, first of all, there's Shubo Mating, who should think, I think he had a 79 weight cut, should get the same. The next player I want to talk about is Klaas Jan Hünteler. For that, also Tisando needs a uh, downgrade 100%, yes, but I don't think we really have to talk about Tisando. He played a bad. But he did not play that much, so I think he should get a downgrade to like 77, but it's fine. <sighs> what should I say about Hündela? He got 12 goals, it is not that bad, 3 assists, but in the end for me in the last few seasons, especially in the last 3 I think he played not good. I think the last good, se uh, the last good season where, was, uh, where when he won the gold boot, Together, I think, with um, Gomez, Mario Gomez in his last year for Bayern, I think they were on the same level, had the same amount of goals. He scored, I think, 25 or 28 goals, I think actually 28, a high amount of goals, and everybody wanted him, we were able to keep him. Before that, he played amazing every time, then that um, season, everybody wanted him. Yeah, we were able to keep him by improving, uh, increasing his rate to 9.5 million euros. And I have to say that was the wrong decision because that's a lot of money for a team like Schalke. And since then, I've in the last two, but I think actually three seasons, he was just shit. He always gets maybe like 5 to 10, 12 goals in all competitions, but that is not good. In the league, he probably always gets like 3, 4, 5 goals, 6 goals, which is just really bad. It is just really bad. And for me, first of all, he does not deserve an 80 rated card or above, so I decided this is his new card, it's 79 rated. As you can see, I improved some stats. For example, I improved his pace because it's not that bad. I improved his passing because it's actually really good, plus 4. I improved his tripping plus 2, his defending plus 3, his physics plus 1. So I improved everything else because I think he deserves it. He is not that slow. His passing is actually really good. Um, his tripling is also really good. His defending could get better because he is running a lot back and makes some interceptions, has the strength. And his physics also more and more strength, good stamina. So I think he should get upgrades there, in my opinion. But his shooting has to go down. I uh, uh, downgraded it from 84 to 80. So minus 4, the most amazing set. That's why he gone down from 82 to 79. Um, it, it could be even 79, 78. Uh, I don't know. Um, his shooting definitely has to go down a lot. I think in shooting there's all, also heading, but I'm not sure if heading is in shooting or physics. And also, I don't know if shot power is in there, but I for uh, I don't know what exactly is in there, but he I gave it an 80 because if if heading or shot power is in there, in both of these he is amazing. So for me, in let's talk about career mode sets. And as career mode sets, he should get like shot power, like high 80 rated, heading as well, high 80, maybe 90, 89, 90 probably. His penalties have to go down a lot, he misses like every fucking penalty and his shooting has to go down a lot to like, not more than like 81. 80 to 81, good heading, shot power, but his finishing has to go down a lot and all that that. Yeah, so this is what I think about Schalke players at the moment. Um, basically most of them improved. Ferma needs a huge improvement, Kaisara little one, Aoko needs a downgrade of course. Um, Maya Kuretska needs a big upgrade, Lisandro needs a uh, downgrade and Hündela needs a big downgrade. You cannot play shit for three seasons and still get an 82 rated card. There are some 
amazing strikers, young ones who played two amazing seasons, just get a, like a 78, 79. So definitely he has to go down. He will go down 100%. At l I think he will get not more than an 80, but in my opinion, he should get a 78 or 79 rated card. I think EA will give him a 79. Sane, please, an 80, and yeah. So if you like these kind of videos, then uh, please smash the like button, as I told you. If you have any kind of ideas and anything you want me to talk about, just tell me that. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we will continue with the World of Premium Career Mode videos. And I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow, guys. And bye.